Retirement homes, a place for our elderly to come together to peacefully live out the rest of their days, has become a place of nightmares. Over 17% of U.S. citizens are elderly, and 10% of those 17 are in homes. But within the homes, one in every 10 adults are being abused. This is a place where they're supposed to be safe and vulnerable. And that could be one of your parents or loved ones. With being isolated in a home without seeing your family often, it's easily assu assumed that elderly within these homes are deeply depressed, and because of their aging and constant vulnerable state, it's safe to say that they're in pain. Being said with that information, these elderly within these homes are probably very depressed and easily frustrated due to their sudden lack of independence, which can tie into reasons why abuse goes on within these homes. I've come up with three simple solutions that will help the elderly within these homes the first one being the employment. CNAs, the people who work with our elderly, also known as certified nurse assistants, can get their license from one to six months. To keep that in mind, that's little more to less than a college semester. These could possibly be kids coming right out of high school taking care of our loved ones. Would we really want that happening? My first solution comes with meetings. Because of these constant little problems that go on within these homes, Meetings that can discuss ways to solve these solutions, as well as deal with them for next time, are ways to keep the problems under control. I also think that if there are more training opportunities for these CNAs, that there is less problems that will likely to happen, especially with abuse within these homes. My second solution is a bus that can come pick up our elders at their homes. This way, they're not only getting time with their family overnight and in the mornings, but they're also getting able to spend time with people their own age while doing activities that will help them, as well as also getting checkups. This will help create a better mindset, not only for their elders, but also for the CNAs working. Based on that, you can assume that there's less of a workload for them and shorter hours with less people, meaning they're less likely to get frustrated easily with the workers or the elderly. My last solution, an invention called the Around the Clock Watch Band, is a silicone band that can easily go around your wrist or an item within the household. This wristband will help detect loud noises and start recording after it's been heard to a certain hertz. This will then be detected to a recent family member's phone, almost like a ring camera. This will detect loud noises of possible abuse within these homes and will be used to help protect our elders from possible situations at hand. At the end of the day, our elders are lonely and sad within these homes and truthfully are looking for someone to sit and listen to them and feel wanted without having to feel like they're forced to or that they're paid to. So I suggest you and your loved one go and visit a retirement home. Take your time and listen to these amazing stories that these amazing people keep. It'll make them feel happier within these homes. Thank you so much for sitting and listening to my problem project. I look forward to listening to yours. Thank you.